Hello, Luke from Cork here. I'm here at Redis. Pleasure to be here. I'm showing you the, the Cross keyboard today. This is the Cork Cross, uh, brand new uh, workstation, entry level, loads of great sounds inside. You can layer sounds, it's got a sequencer in there, and it's also got an audio recorder, which is really cool. Um, and the main thing about the Cross is just the ease of use, really. Great um, starter keyboard, or anyone who just wants to play live and access the sounds really quickly. So, to select your sounds, you use the category dial here. So I can just go through and select my different categories. And then if I'm, when I'm within my category, I use a select dial and it tells me on the screen then what I'm doing. I'm in my piano category there, as you can see. So let's have a listen to this piano sound. select a different piano sound I just need to use my select dial here and I can on the screen then go through within the piano category so let's go for a different kind of piano now a harder edged kind of compressed piano sound something like this one sounds like this now these switches on the left they are um, usually for like a piano octave shift or something like that, but on this one, it's actually bringing in an effect like a guitar amp model. And we've also got over here on the right, a drum track. So if I press that, that'll give me a drum pattern to go with it. Let's go into a different category now, say an organ. So go into organ, and I've got this nice overdriven rock organ here. And again, going back to the controllers, we've got a mod wheel here, for our pitch bend, which will introduce the Leslie effect. So if I hold down a chord. Let's check out the string category. Not only have you got strings in there, but you've also got some really nice pads as well. This is a super analog pad, which sounds like this. And another neat feature of the cross is that you have these quick, uh, quick layer and split buttons, which I'm going to show you now. So say for instance we've got this pad sound, and we want to split the keyboard. We just press split, it'll show me on the screen. The sound on the bass, which is here, which I can change and then also the volume, the octave it's in, and the split point as well, which you can change as well. So now we split the keyboard, we get the trim track, we've got this. And if I want to keep it, I can save it very easily by pressing right on the screen, just there, or I can just press cancel, and then I'm back to where I was before. Same idea goes for split. So let's get a guitar, sorry, not split, layer. So if I go to a guitar, uh, a nice nylon string guitar, something like this acoustic kind of thing, sounds like this. something else just hit layer and it's again quick layer strings it's given me I can adjust the volume because obviously with these second sounds often you don't want it as loud as the first one 
just to blend it in. You can change the octave as you can see there as well. So it's got this nice blend of the two then. Great synth sounds in here, as you expect, being a, being a Korg. So I'm going to go into the synth lead category and dial in a square, a saw lead, unison saw lead. Sounds like this. Get me the drum track. You've also got like, some great um, lead kind of trancey sounds as well in this category. So I'm going to go right through from this one. You've also got an arpeggiator as well, so let's stick the arpeggiator on. Along here, we've got some really cool things. Uh, these are basically 16 buttons, and as your camera comes across, you'll see them. And they're multifunction. So the first thing you can use them for is this section, the step sequencer. So if I, I'm just going to go to a different sound program. I'm going to go into my guitars category and find this. Uh, this is kind of like a Run DMC kind of guitar sound. <laughs> But using the step sequencer, I can program my own drum pattern to suit that particular sound if I want to. And over here, all I do need to do is go setup, and then on the screen, you'll see this pattern. So you can see the kick part, snare part, hi hats, and so on. And as you go onto the buttons, you'll see that's the kick part that you've seen at the moment. So it's kick, kick, kick. kick. If I move it up. Snare, 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 and so on. So I can take out the snare, then loads of snares, put it back as it was. So it makes it really quick to, to make your beats. You can also use this um, this step sequencer in any mode, so in program mode, single sounds at the moment. You can also use it in combi mode, and you can use these buttons for favourites. So instead of having step sequencer pressed, I'm going to press favourites. So then these become my favourite sounds, which are great obviously when you're gigging. You've got six, four banks of these, so 64 in total, and you can just fly through your favourite sounds. Some of them on the screen, they will see the ones I've used already, um, and. So let's have a listen to a couple more favourites here. Again, using the step sequencer. You can use combi mode as well um, for really quite sophisticated stuff. You've got 16 parts which you can layer and split as well. So here's an example of how you might do that. You can also use the arpeggiator and the drum track as well. So I'm going to turn those on. So the arpeggiator is going to arpeggiate this string part and the drum track's going to come in.
There's loads of great signature sounds in here as well, and especially in combi mode, so based on famous songs uh, to give you inspiration, stuff like this. This one. You can also use these favourites to chain your favourite sounds together, of course, so great in a live performance or at home in the studio if you need to recall them quickly. But what I'm going to do here is just talk you through how we might use this in a real kind of situation. So favourite number 13 there is um, basically, you can see it um, recorded on the screen there, and then I can flip between 14 and 15. These are the three I'm going to use. So 13 is a three-way split, so we've got um, electric piano and piano at the top. We've got horns in the middle. Bottom, we've got like an orchestral hit and then the second one is just like a layer um, uh, like an LA stack we call it piano strings piano pad and um, EP and the third one brings in some strings and then also on top of that I can start bringing in my arpeggiator and my drum track so here we go then you set up for the next section which is great. You've also got a sequencer built in so at any time you can quickly record anything that you're playing so that can be in program or combi mode. So let's just go back in now into combi mode I'm going to find this nice kind of orchestral film theme type of thing I found the other day which is quite nice. Uh, what's it called now? Into, it's into battle it's called. So we've got a drum track and an arpeggiator going. Well now, I like that, so I think, okay, I'm going to record that now. All I have to do is press record on the sequencer. It says on the screen, set it to record. Do you want to continue? Yes. There's my click. All I have to do now is press play. It'll give me two bars in. I'm playing. So that's now captured as a MIDI sequence. So I can slow it right down. Speed up, you can tap the tempo. 
So I've got my eight bars there that I can then add to that if I want to. I can change the sounds, change the voicing, edit anything I want, export it on an SD card if I want to as a MIDI file. There's an SD card slot um, the back there that you can put in uh, your SD card. What you can also do with an SD card is great is playback audio um, because it has an audio recorder built in as well. So here's an example of that. So on the SD card I've already got a sample preloaded which is an acapella which I'm going to play along to. And then I can also use the, the drum track alongside that as well, if I want to. Um, so here we go. So we'll listen. Your stare was holding, red sheen, skin was showing. Hot night, wind was blowing. Where you think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. It's hard to look right at you, baby. But here's my number. So great fun to kind of jam along to to record that but you can also you've got a mic in and a line in so you can connect any mic and a stereo mini jack line as well so you can actually record audio from external means uh, all on, on board the unit strapped to the SD card so it really is a one-stop solution for capturing the audio playing sounds playing live playing at home it's got USB as well um, just there so that means you can connect to your computer and you've got an editor which you can download free as well on there and that works like a plug-in if you want it to or stand alone so that's the cord cross it comes in two sizes this is the 61 key you can also get an 88 note version of it as well with weighted keys for those who people who like to play proper piano on there um so yeah anyway thanks for listening my, my name is luke edwards from cord um hope you enjoyed the video and see us again soon cheers <laughs>